<laughs> Do you know the horned insect hunter? Oh, oh, that guy! All I remember is that he swallowed a bug whole with his long tongue and his cheeks bulged out. Oh, he scared me so much that I couldn't hunt. Now that you're here. <laughs> oh, his cheeks bulged out? <laughs> oh, you know what? He looks really familiar. If you drew two hmm. eyes on it, wouldn't it look like a frog? Like, uh, like this? A, a frog? frog? There's a frog that has horns? That's it. Frogs eat insects to survive, so it makes sense a frog would be our insect hunter. Hmm, the question is, how are we going to find this frog with horns? That's easy. Huh? We just have to go ask some frogs. Let's hmm. question the frog. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> Have you seen a frog like this? A horned frog? Of course. But it'll be hard to spot him. Because the horn-like parts look a lot like the tips of leaves. Tips, tips of leaves? leaves? Brown-colored leaves, eh? My chance. Now the Mr. Ray! Now the Mr. Ray! Ready, ready, Now the mystery is solved! <laughs> The culprit that was hiding in leaves and attacking insects was the Asian horned frog. It's an expert at camouflage. Its two horn-like growths above its eyes look like the tips of leaves, which makes it easy for it to hide. By hiding in leaves, it can stay concealed from its enemies, and it provides an advantage while hunting. The technique of drawing a picture of a culprit through descriptions made by witnesses is called a montage. It's a technique that's used quite often in investigations, so it's good to know. The mystery is solved!